Good morning, America, and good morning, every one of you, wherever you are from in this big world. Well, today we are October 27, the maximum impact of the SOS to the world deadly window will be tomorrow. And obviously, if you look at the news, uh, looks like if um, everything that I saw uh, it has been confirmed. Okay, so the title of the newsletter associated with this uh, YouTube video is, is ISIS leader Hal Baghdadi confirmed dead predictions. Dr. Cherry did it again. Well, that's gonna ruffle some feathers again, but hey, the fact is the fact, all right? So yesterday, uh, October 26, I wrote a newsletter titled SOS to the World, October 28, 2019, you have been warned, etc. Okay. Now the article offered my vision to what was to transpire during this uh, uh, window. Okay. Now my quatrain and obvious keywords that you will read when you click on the link Okay, because you've got to do that to assimilate my work better, um, including the YouTube video that I made yesterday, also clearly enunciate repetitively to expect news about famous death. Famous death. <laughs> All right. And believe me, my friend, it is not every day that the most infamous soul walking planet Earth gets killed by the US forces. All right, so now, while my trusting supporters will rejoice, my reptilious infected internet enemies will despise me even more for being undeniably accurate once again. But you know what, my friend, it is only by refreshing your memory and by producing another Cosmic Code newsletter and another video, okay, that my smart, spiritually inclined base, that would be you, will acknowledge my claims. Now, in all modesty, I am sure you realize that a real modern prophet is very rare. And I am real. Now, what's interesting, in, and you will read that, uh, I sent an email to Tom Deinheiser, George Costa Costa, George Norrie producer. And in this email, I gave him, uh, uh, I, like, like I always do, very specific date representing those windows, okay? And I give him also um, a prediction to what's going to happen in 2020 and what's going to happen uh, uh, today, so to speak. So I give the date of October 28th and I say dramatic news, serial killers, terrorism, secret to light, FBI, etc. So you are going to read that email in that newsletter. And of course, it's dated, it's sent to Dime Heiser. Of course, I don't divulge his email address because I don't want him to be harassed by a bunch of people. But the good news is that I know, I know Tom. And when I will tell him, do you remember that, that email that I sent you? Uh, he will probably certainly say, yes, I recall that email. The only problem is uh, in my last show with George, I was concentrating on helping people. And I did not focus on giving those dates those SOS to the world a deadly window dates. But the fact of the matter is, I did. I did, and you're going to read the email. I'd like to put the green where the mouth is. This is what Dr. is all about. This is what I'm all about. Now, now um, <clears throat> so the, the actual SOS to the world window uh, and quatrain are more than obvious, especially when I said hidden secret sex money come to light, raw power challenges police deadly villains, ugly face of death drama our surface, nature man's religion bloody folly reign. Believe me, ugly face of death drama our surface. Uh, if you were that uh, terrorist, uh, you would know that you would feel the impact of my work, especially knowing that uh, his kids and his wife also were killed. 
uh, and some um, of these other kids were taken by the U.S. forces. But, you know, unless you go through it personally and you feel the power personally, in this case you die, um, you may not necessarily realize the power of Draco channeling those information through me in terms of using, again, uh, Nostradamus 16th century divine astrology methodology. So let's go and kind of uh, explain a little bit more how to read the news outside of your five normal human senses, but through your third eye. Okay, so the first one is ISIS leader al-Baghdadi confirmed dead, famous death. Was there anyone else that was famous that died today? Well, Australia's most notorious serial killer dies in prison today. Now, do you think it's an accident for this famous death guy to die today? No, there is no accident. There are only cosmic circumstances at work that science and many of you have not yet digested. But with time and with my guidance, you will understand the cosmic code. Again, anything involving the police, off-duty Texas cop shoots son after mistaking him for intruder. How terrible is that? When I tell you the police will make the news, dramatic news, how can you deny that? A cop actually killed his son. How do you think this cop will give me, for me, to warn him that it would not be a normal day in the office today, tomorrow, or during those cosmic winds? Again, I can only blame the police executive for not allowing me to teach those cops to be aware of those energy when the reptilians are specifically dedicated to aim for them. Will the world one day wake up? Will the police and the FBI learn with forensic astrology the extraordinary values involved in this whole discipline, which is sought as a sort of science by a bunch of educated idiots? What else do we have involving the police? Philadelphia police commander accused of sexually assaulting officers, he mentored. Did you read the word sex? Did you read the word police? It's in your face. It is not every day that a cop kills his son, that a cop enter a run apartment and kill another one. It is not every day that you have a cop that is being exposed for sexually abusing his pupils. It is not every day, people. It's under the specific cosmic energy that are manipulated by the reptilians to make our lives misery. What else do we have? Texas shooting at party outside of Dallas result in at least two deaths. And I don't know how many people, are, you know, end up at a hospital. I think it's 14 of them. Do not throw a party during those cosmic winds unless you want to be killed. Don't get married during those cosmic winds. Don't do anything in those cosmic winds because the legacy will curse you. It is not me being nasty to you. It is how God speaks to his children through the sign that I translate endlessly for your benefit and for free. So to those who are going to put the thumb down, my question is to you, my friend, what did you give the world today? What did you give the world to make it a better place? What did you give your fellow human being so that you can understand their relationship with the divine? Do I really deserve a thumb down for that? That tells you how infected some people are and they're unable, unable to fight the slavery that they are suffering since they've been infected by the reptilians by being jealous, by being insecure, by having uh, inferiority complex, by being nasty to me, when all I'm doing is to help you and save lives. Anything else about the police again? Georgia police has saved a suicidal father in dramatic body cam footage. Call about, talk about dramatic news eh, involving the police. I wonder how many police officers or police executive or FBI agents are watching those videos. 
and I know many of them, I know many of them, those I have helped, those I have guided, those I have counseled, very insecure mother, wife and sisters and brothers, wondering about their family member being a cop, doing such a dangerous job, facing the freaking reptilians day after day, and many of them don't make it back home. Each one of those guys, those courageous servants, you know, civil servant already died, and those who will die, okay? My heart goes to all of you and your family, knowing that those who could help you to go back home safe and sound are doing nothing, nothing to gather the information I own. And they are real because I'm putting them on your face nonstop. So I wonder how you guys are feeling right now. Maybe you should try to do something you know, and have me. I come for free. I'm not after the money, I make money, you know. I come for free because I want to save your lives and I want to educate you. And I want to show you my software. I am not a woo-woo. I am not a psychic, even though that I have to use the word psychic because I don't have any other term for you to understand the cosmic code of addictions. Well, as I said, I don't know how many more people are so committed to help you to save your life and educate you. Yet, since 1991, I didn't make much progress. Would it be with the scientific community, community, or with the FBI or the police? Even though that they visit me twice already, because I gave exact date of terrorist attacks. Man. All right. What else do we have? California launches America for statewide earthquakes early warning system. ET call home. <clears throat> Believe me, by the time this needle moves a little bit or a lot, it'll be too late. When I can already give you the date for the next big earthquake during my SOS to the world deadly windows. If the scientific community, if all the geologists were to put their big educated pride on the side and would pay attention to what I have to offer, knowing the activity of the fault, because the timing that I have is, is impeccable. If you, if you have followed my previous predictions, heard me on radio many, many times. I can't even collect my predictions of, of large earthquakes anymore. Then maybe, like the police, they say, maybe we should give this guy a, a break and maybe a chance and open up, open up to what I have to offer. Remember, there's a big, big difference between education and intelligence, my friends. Now, there is a pictures of uh, those three guys that were arrested in Philadelphia because they shot two children. Look at their faces. You will see what is a reptilious, totally infected human being in their face, in their eyes. You can see that those people have lost the essence of what it means to be human, especially to kill a child, an innocent Kid, kid, even if it's by accident. You know, in the video that I did uh, yesterday, someone asked me, you know, will the reptilians follow us after our death? I tell you, yeah, I mean, you heard of zombies, and I mean, like astrology or UFO, you might deny this. Oh, <laughs> that's bullshit. Excuse my French, it is not. Believe me, when you assign your soul when you're really, really negative, or you find every single way to be destructive, negative, would it be because you have been poisoned by those reptilians with legal or illegal drugs? And you get into that state of supreme depression and negativity where you don't want to be on this earth anymore, and you're going to go in style by killing everybody or shooting your head off or being cop, killed by the cops. That tells you the depth of the infestation that's going on in your body, in your mind, in your soul. You are now part of the darkness. You are part of the essence that makes the worst of the worst of Pluto, the Lord of Hell, the Lord of the criminal element, the Lord of death, the Lord of drama, the Lord, the Lord of abuse and porn, negativity of the extreme. You become part of that energy. And you are 
followed your course, you are now part of the reptilian negative energy. Now, there are miracles. You know, I've seen, I've seen, and I watched some programs on television where some convicts, well, they all find God somewhere, somehow, don't you worry. This is a Neptunian thing. So when you Neptune is drugs, alcohol, deception in Jesus, or Allah, or Buddha, or Mohammed, or whatever it is. It's all reptilians infected. That's why many of these guys, you know, find God. But some of them, for some miracle reasons, uh, mind you, the majority will come back after they're liberated. So they're on parole, but they will come back. Uh, 85%, if not 95%. But there are a very, very little minority that for some magical reason are being, uh, come to that very, very cr crucial moment, moment where they realize what they're doing and they can apply their will. And in, if it's Jesus, if it's God, if it's Allah, if it's Buddha, it doesn't matter they are able to take themselves out of the negative energy and start to work for the sun, start to work for the light, or with the reptilians, the, the draconis. So it's important to realize uh, there is a lot of thing that you, you have been put in the box, you have been indoctrinated, would it be science promising you one day you're gonna walk on Mars, or Oh, you know, artificial intelligence uh, will take over. No way, Jose, this is impossible. No way in a million years will the best of the best of our technology and artificial intelligence take over our consciousness or our spirit. But those educated idiot scientists don't have any form of cosmic consciousness. They do not understand how God speaks through the universal mind or directly into the mind of humans, you know, meaning that the mind is nothing else than a computer that is responding to an outside stimuli produced by the universal mind and that is the uh, the entire family and the entire cosmic soul the entire uh, our local solar system as a soul and there's no way million years that those scientists uh, uh, are, will be able to enter the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness because they are forbidden to enter this part of the human experience. Their UCI or their unique celestial identity is much too rational, is much too practical, is much too logical. So that's what breed atheist agnostics uh, and, and people like um, uh, Neil deGrasse and the bunch of scientific scientists, idiots, and, and, and all the bunkers of, of the divine and astrology and metaphysics or UFOs for that matter. So we are moving with the age of Aquarius into you know, a new awakening, a new understanding. And it's only when you gather full cosmic consciousness that you'll be able to apply your will and fight those reptilians. You know, ask anybody, any, ask any teachers, okay, can you tell me what cosmic consciousness is? Next time you hear somebody talking about cosmic consciousness, ask the question, could you explain what cosmic consciousness is? We'll be ready for a lot of Neptunian, elusive, nirvanic, deceptive, impractical, maybe religious answers. But let me tell you what it means. It means that you have mastered God cosmic design. You understand the cosmic code jurisdictions, and now you are able to see the truth through your third eye and you're going to make predictions that are going to be inaugurable and you're going to be able to read people and know them better than they know themselves. That's what cosmic consciousness means. It's also, of course, understanding the various uh, groups of extraterrestrials and, of course, their agenda, would it be positive or negative? So, you have a lot to learn, my friends, and I can only proceed slowly so I don't lose you in the process. And, and I'm asking you to be very, very, uh, to participate, be, be a, a part of the solution by sharing my work. You know, I cannot go on YouTube, I mean, on uh, Facebook anymore. I've been fired from Wikipedia. The bunch of jealous don't like me there. The same with LinkedIn and every major popular website. I've been fired from all those places. The reptilians do not want me to reach you, to educate you. So if you like what I do, if you resonate with my cosmic speed, then share it. Because it's only when this type of supreme cosmic wisdom is spread wide enough, okay, that not only extraterrestrial, we make themselves, uh, you know, real, 
because the future is the reincarnation of the thought. But we have to bring the psychical power to a higher level. So as we create our reality in, on, on a common way, uh, the impossible will become really, really real and really, really possible. Now, it is important for you to understand that. Uh, Tarania, what is it, honey? I have what? I have a, a reading to do at 11 o'clock? Okay, honey, I have 15 minutes, sweetheart. Okay, I'm going to finish that and I'll be right there with my client, okay? Thank you. Thank you for disturbing me. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> All right. So now, if you want to gather the golden keys to what it means to be human, join us today. Because Nostradamus 16th century divine astrology methodology or forensic astrology is unmatched. Okay, if you are into psychology, psychiatry, neuroscience, or, or smart and curious like you should be, like a superwoman, and you are interested in human mind and human experiences, well, you got to join us. Click on the link because I'm going to explain why, why ISIS leader Al Baghdadi. That was confirmed dead today. Why he went through such a fate? Why he became and did what he did? Why he was killed? And why his family or his close friends were killed? Why he was led by the reptilians to become that ISIS leader? And why he was finally taken care of by the Draconis leading the US force to get him and get him out of the way. So what I'm trying to tell you, I am going to explain this chart. This chart is in the newsletter. Click on it, look at this chart. And I'm going to explain the head and the tail of the dragon, his house of death, his fate, everything that you need to know to understand why if you don't want to read the three the 600 page book called the power of the dragon you you will once you read and you what i'm going to write in the cosmic code private website believe me if you're into the human experience into psychology or anything else that shows that you're clever and you're curious okay you will get the book after that because there is no accident for the killers, the worst killers on this planet to do what they did. I explain it all in my book, The Power of the Dragon. Well, um, Beyond the Secret is more uh, involving the superconscious in time and space and kind, uh, how we can affect the atomic structure of your body and create your future, etc. All the examples that I give in this book, The Power of the Dragon was written for my students to really, really initiate them on what the dragon is. And the dragon is not what it, they're doing now in Asia, dancing with a dragon because they have lost the spirit of the dragon. They have lost the critical, supreme cosmic wisdom involving the dragon. But there is a purpose even for Asia. Like we here in the United States and in Europe, we have lost the critical Jesus initial cosmic ministry. We have lost it all for a very specific purpose that is uh, maintained by the reptilians on every single day of your life. Remember, you are endlessly, endlessly, and constantly, even when you sleep, bombarded by both the draconis, God, thanks for that, and the reptilians. You're going to learn all this in time. So, my friend, uh, another thing, California is dealing with two wildfire and a massive power shut up. Okay, and I start my new 2020 Nostradamus Dragon forecast by saying 2020, a year of wind and fire. Put your hand on this forecast. Believe me, you're going to be very happy you did so, and you're going to be well, well prepared. Now, if you're into UFOs and you want to attract the draconis, oh, <laughs> you better attract the draconis and stay away from the reptilians. Well, get a talisman. Click on the link and read all about what a talisman is all about. All right, my friend, hopefully I won't have to come up tomorrow. Oh, and I, feel, I forgot to, to mention something quite important that I'm going to do later on. I'm going to be going to the 8th annual Dia de los Muertos in, uh, in Phoenix. Um, it's uh, basically what it is, is uh, a Mexican uh, holiday where they celebrate their dead. So it's happening today. 
okay, in this SOS to the world, deadly plutonic window ruled by Pluto, the Lord of Death, the Lord of the Underworld, the Lord of Secrets. So hopefully when everything is set and down today, you're going to get a really positive, progressive wake-up call. Love you guys. You like me? Thumb up. Talk to you again.